Hey guys, we are in Valley de May. Are you ready? Let's go. Valley du May is located in Praline Island, an island 44 kilometers northeast of Mahe. The island is accessible by air or by ferry. Valley du May is a primeval palm forest and as the name suggests, its origins go way back. Seychelles was once part of the supercontinent Gondwana. Over the years, Seychelles and India separated from Madagascar. Eventually, India moved towards Asia, leaving Seychelles as we see it today, isolated in the Indian Ocean. This isolation meant that Seychelles had very little connection with the surrounding world, a result of which Valley de May has changed very little. Palms first appeared around 80 million years ago, right alongside the dinosaurs. In fact, this primeval palm forest is a relic from that time. If a species is found in a single defined geographic location, such as this island, then the species is said to be endemic to the geographic location. Valley de May is home to many endemic flora and fauna. Being a primeval palm forest, let's start with the endemic palms here. The star of the forest, and perhaps of Seychelles too, is the Coco de Mer palm. Of course, this palm is known for the similarities of the male inflorescence and the double nut to human genitals. The Coco de Mer is a very slow growing palm with a complicated life cycle. It takes between 15 to 40 years for the palm to be mature enough to produce flowers. The small yellow and scented male flowers on the long phallic inflorescence are hereafter food for the endemic green geckos. The endemic white slugs, insects and the wind helps with the pollination. The female flowers after pollination develop a green heart shaped fruit that takes 7 years to mature. When the fruit is cleaned and the outer husk is removed, it looks like this. This double nut is the largest and the heaviest seed in the world. After the mature nut have fallen to the ground, it takes anywhere between a few months or a few years to germinate. It takes another 15 years or more to mature. And the cycle continues. The coco de mer can be consumed and is considered to have medical healing properties. Maybe the coco de mer jam may interest you, or perhaps an alcoholic beverage made from the pulp of the coco de mer. But given the time taken by these palms to mature and reproduce, the mature nuts are sold in limited numbers under strict certified control. This is the coco de mer bowl. The bowl is like a socket. The rope-like roots of the coco de mer pass through these holes, anchoring the palm to the ground. 
The trunk of the cocodema is not flexible, and this arrangement allows for some movement of the trunk when facing strong winds. This is the cabbage palm. They have a distinctive spiny fruit which you may find on the ground as you're walking through the forest. The stilt palm gets its name because of this. This is a cone of stilt root at its base. The leaves are large with an open V at the tip. This is not to be confused with the thief palm. The thief palm is probably the most abundant of the endemic palms. They have very large leaves with an open and deep V at the tip. Other endemic species include the Latanea palm, and the Latanian milpat. Valley du Mai is also home to some non-palm species as well. In fact, we meet one right at the entrance. This is the Petit Coco Marron. Its name roughly translates to small cocoa palm in the wild. The Horns pandanus is a tree that is not endemic to Seychelles as it is also found in Madagascar. This tree is characterized by tall stilts. As you walk through the forest, you may come across a surprising resident here at Valley de May. This is the jackfruit tree. And you will know it's the jackfruit tree because of the sweet smell of its ripe fruits. Despite being surrounded by the sea, the flora and fauna here at Valley de May need fresh water for survival. Rainwater from the hills at the center of the island gather into smaller streams like this one, which feeds the inhabitants of the forest. The streams are teeming with life too. Here you will find transparent shrimps in the water. Not too far from the stream, you will see burrows of the Seychelles freshwater crab the only true freshwater crab in Seychelles. There are other critters too, like the freshwater crayfish and the Seychelles killifish, but they are nocturnal and are less likely to be spotted during the day. Every time we walk, we get a feeling that we are inside some closed dome or something, but no, it's out in the open, see? It's all open air. You can see the sky through here. It's amazing. And every time a wind blows, it, it just sounds so awesome. All the leaves hitting together, something like this. It sounds a bit like a waterfall. Believe me, if you're stressed, come here. Valley du Mai is home to some unique fauna. Many of the critters are well camouflaged and some are nocturnal, so you might see very few of them during your visit. The park is closed to the public after 4 p.m. every day. This gives the inhabitants full freedom to move around the forest without human intervention. But with a sharp eye and a lot of patience, you can spot a few critters during the day. Even before you enter the forest, you are most likely to meet the Seychelles Green Day Gecko. This gecko is green in color and has irregular red markings on the back. 
Another gecko is the Seychelles bronze gecko, which is usually well camouflaged and a little hard to spot. There is a shelter from where you get a good view of the forest. It is also here you will get up close with another reptile, the Seychelles skink. The skink is fairly common and you might spot the skink scurrying beside you in the forest floor. Valley de May is home to some exotic species of birds like the Seychelles sunbird, the Seychelles kestrel, Seychelles swiftlet, the Seychelles blue pigeon, and the Seychelles bulbul. But the most iconic and the rarest of them all is the Seychelles black parrot which is also the mascot of Valley de May. There are only about a few hundreds of them here at Valley de May. The closest I got to the parrot is with this picture, which again can be the bird or perhaps a part of the tree. But hey, filming the black parrot in glorious 4K or at least HD is a good reason to visit Valley de May again soon, right? As you walk through the forest, you realize that the attraction is not just the trees and animals. It's also the forest floor. The forest floor is a delicate ecosystem. To many animals, insects, reptiles and other invertebrates, the forest floor is home. The fallen leaves play a role in the recycling of nutrients. As the fallen leaves are decomposed, they in turn provide nutrition to the tree still standing. This is one of the fallen trees from the palm tree. Quite hard. It's harder than I thought. Not all is great in the forest though, thanks to the alien species. No, not extraterrestrial beings. I mean species of plants, animals, amphibians or even microorganisms that have been introduced by humans, either deliberately or by accident. Some of the alien species here at Valley de May are invasive and a huge problem as they disturb the ecosystem. Take the example of the yellow crazy ants. That is their real name. They can overpower larger animals and are linked to the decline in the populations of snails, slugs and geckos. An interesting alien species is the tenrec. Originally from Madagascar, the tenrec was introduced in Valley de May as food for humans. But in the forest, they feed on invertebrates, amphibians and reptiles. Plants can be invasive too. Some of the alien trees grow fast and outcompete the endemic trees for water and light. Examples of the invasive tree species include the fast growing cinnamon tree. The devil's ivy is a vigorous climber that can outcompete local plants for light. The albizia tree and the dumb cane can take up way too much water resulting in the surrounding plants not getting enough water. A lot of effort is taken by the conservationists to reduce the damage caused by the alien species to the ecosystem. This is the reason why you are prohibited from bringing in any fruit, veggies or plants into Seychelles. Even an apple you couldn't finish on board the aircraft must be left on board or else you will be made to discard it before you exit the airport.
1983, Valle de May became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In 2013, the Seychelles Island Foundation commemorated 30 years as a World Heritage Site. A visit to Valle de May is a must on your trip to Seychelles. Just walking through the forest is a spiritual experience. The fresh air, the smell of coconuts, the lush greenery, the sounds of the birds, the wind, water by the stream, all help in slowing down time. You don't think about your problems. It's just you and nature. You go into a meditative state. the peace the bliss